quick peek here at number five. Five is kind of a nice one because it does deal with this infinity that we have. And it says the sum to infinity, which is a over one minus r, is equal to 64. That's one thing that we're doing. Write that down for this one if you have it already. The other thing it says is the second term of the geometric sequence is 12. So the second term, the first term is a, the second one will be a times r will be equal to 12. So there's my two equations, two unknowns. Unfortunately, it's kind of nasty, isn't it? Uh, how do you want to do this? Should we just go a is equal to 64 times 1 minus r? And here, uh, a is equal to 12 over r. You just want to do that and then set them equal to each other. Is that all right? These a's are equal. So then you can get 64 times 1 minus r is equal to 12 over r. Guess what? What's this going to turn into? Do you smell it? Do you smell it? Oh, I'm glad you had it. You're right. So you're going to get 64 minus 64r equal 12 over r. Multiply everything by r. Okay? And so you're going to get, uh, let's see, 64r minus 64r squared equal to 12. Put it all on one side and you get 0 equal to 64r squared minus 64r plus 12. And is 64 divisible by 12? I know it's divisible by 4. So 0 divided by 4 is 0. This is 16. 16. Three, I think that's the best you can do. And then you just go ahead and factor this. I'll let you factor it and figure it out. But you are going to get two answers for R. And thus two answers for A. And uh, that'll be interesting. Does this factor? Let's see, uh, two and eight. Maybe. What's that? Um, this is positive. This is negative. So I move that over. That'll be positive. Move that over. That'll be negative. This is positive. Nope, I think it's good. But uh, 16, 44. Wondering if this will be. 4R, 4R. Minus, minus. Does that give you the negative 16 middle term? I think it does. So you're going to have two cases. You're going to have 4r minus 3 equals 0. And you're going to have 4r minus 1 equals 0. r is going to be 3 fourths. r is going to be 1 fourth. So then once you know that, now you can go back. Remember? 12 was equal to a times r. So if r is 3 fourths, you're going to get um, let's see, 12 times 4 is 48 divided by 3. a is going to be 16. That's one. The other one is a times 1 fourth equals 12. And then you just get a is equal to 48. And then just go ahead and figure out those first three terms. But I think that's good enough for sure. So you get two sets of answers. Is that weird? It is weird. It's the quadratic. <laughs>